Welcome back to our Lua Basics tutorial series. In our previous tutorial, we covered the encryption of messages using string manipulation functions. At this tutorial, we'll pick up right where we left off and delve into decrypting those encrypted messages. So, if you're ready, let's dive in and unlock the secrets hidden within our encrypted messages. In the previous tutorial, we had separate blocks of code to check if the message length exceeded certain limits. To make our code shorter, we will combine these blocks using the logical operator OR. This allows us to check both conditions in a single if statement, reducing redundancy and making our code more concise. After making changes to our code, it's important to check it thoroughly to ensure everything is correct. We've verified and optimized our encryption code, we're ready to proceed with the decryption block. This block will reverse the process of encryption to restore the original message. We'll create a variable decrypted message and initialize it as an empty string. This variable will store the decrypted message. Next we will use once again a for loop but this time with gmatch. We'll use a for loop combined with the gmatch function to iterate over the encrypted message and extract each numerical value representing a character. The percent %d plus pattern in gmatch matches one or more digits in the string. Word is not a reserved keyword or predefined variable. It's a generic variable name commonly used to represent a single element or component of a text or string, particularly in contexts where the text is being processed or analyzed. In the decryption block of our script, word is used as the loop variable in the for loop that iterates over the numerical values extracted from the encrypted message. Each iteration, word represents a single numerical value, which is then converted back to its corresponding character. Now we will proceed our string conversion. Within the loop, we'll convert each numerical value back to its corresponding character using string char function and inside using to number function with argument word. The to number function converts the numerical string to a number, and string char function converts the number to its ASCII character representation. Each decrypted character will be concatenated to the decrypted message variable. Finally, we'll print the decrypted message to the console. The decryption block will be able to reverse the encryption process and retrieve the original message, completing the encryption and decryption cycle.
Now we'll reverse the decrypted message using the string reverse function. This step restores the original message to its initial order, completing the entire process. GMatch is a method available on string objects. It stands for global match and is used to iterate over all occurrences of a pattern in a string. In this context, encrypted message is a string variable containing the encrypted message, which consists of numbers separated by spaces. The pattern percent %d plus pass to GMatch specifies that we're looking for one or more digits in the string. So, percent %d plus matches any sequence of one or more consecutive digits. When g match is called with percent %d plus as its argument, it returns an iterator function. This iterator function, when called repeatedly in a loop, returns each occurrence of the pattern found in encrypted message. The for loop iterates over each match found by the g match function. In each iteration, word represents one match, which is a sequence of digits from the encrypted message. Overall, encrypted message, match percent %d plus allows us to extract each individual number from the encrypted message by iterating over all sequences of consecutive digits. Let's delve deeper into decrypted message assigned to decrypted message double dot string char to number word. Word, this variable represents each match found by the gmatch function. These matches are sequences of digits from the encrypted message. To number converts the string representation of a number into an actual numerical value. For example, if word is 65 in quotes, to number, word, would return the number 65. The string char function takes numerical ASCII values as arguments and returns the corresponding characters. For instance, string char, 65, returns the character uppercase letter A as 65 is the ASCII value for the uppercase letter A. Lua uses the concatenation operator double dot to concatenate, or join together, strings. In this context, decrypted message. String char, to number, word, appends the character obtained from string char, to number, word, to the existing decrypted message string. By repeatedly performing decrypted message assigned to decrypted message double dot string char, to number, word, within the loop, each numerical value from the encrypted message is converted into its corresponding character and added to decrypted message. This process effectively decrypts the message, converting it from a sequence of ASCII values back into readable text. By mastering functions like string reverse, string byte, and string char, we've unlocked powerful tools for manipulating and transforming text data. Remember to practice and experiment with these functions to deepen your understanding and proficiency. As we progress in our Lua journey, we'll continue to explore more string functions and their effects, unraveling the intricacies of text processing and manipulation. Stay tuned for our next tutorial, where we'll dive deeper into the fascinating world of Lua programming. Keep coding and exploring, and let your creativity flourish.